Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. In this one, I'll be talking about what's happening to our neighbors to the north in Canada. I first caught wind of the situation from YouTuber San Joaquin Valley Transparency in his video called Knock Knock, It's the Police to Ask You About Your Social Media. In that video, he referenced a Canadian YouTuber by the name of The Unknown Videographer. Before I dive into why this is wrong, let's briefly discuss the George Orwell book, 1984. 1984 is a dystopian novella written by George Orwell and published in 1949, which follows the life of Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the party, who is frustrated by the omnipresent eyes of the party and its ominous ruler, Big Brother. Big Brother controls every aspect of people's lives. This book was meant to be a warning to the public about the over-control of government on the people. Sadly, people do not, or will not, see that his work of fiction has become reality, mostly. With that said, let's apply the logic from the fictional book to what is going on in Canada right now. In 1984, Big Brother was another name for the government. In Canada, government is using force against peaceful people to push an agenda. In the process, the government is violating individual rights by use of thugs in blue with guns. Canadian hockey sports celebrity was trying to claim that the police were not holding anyone at gunpoint, yet in this video shows many officers holding an RV full of people at gunpoint. Canada seems to have gone full police state. From a CBC News article dated February 14, 2022, the Canadian federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. This act gives Canadian federal government the ability to take special temporary measures that may not be appropriate in normal times to cope with an emergency and the resulting fallout during an urgent and critical situation. The act was passed in 1988 as a replacement for the War Measures Act. It has never been used before and is widely considered a measure of last resort. The government has the power to prohibit public assembly that may be reasonably expected to lead to a breach of the peace and to prohibit to, from, and within any specified area to forbid the use of any specified property to secure protected places. In the context of the Ottawa protest, Trudeau said the federal powers will be used to prohibit people from illegally gathering in the city's downtown core and to order tow truck companies in the area to help remove big rigs used in the protests. This is basically the equivalent of martial law here in the USA. The Canadian government is forcing people who protest anything anti-government in submission by way of force through any means necessary. This is scary time. Cops, let alone government, should never have this much power. The phrase, absolute power corrupts absolutely, is very fitting here. This is a very disgusting thing the government is doing to its people. I really hope the Canadians can get their government back in check, and soon. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.